Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter Neal, and today I'm going to show you the new and improved website. Now, I know two or three weeks ago, we already looked at the website when it was launched. Uh, myself and Nick from Nick and Andrea Hills on YouTube, we done a bit of a collab and we showed you around the website quickly. Now, what I got from that video were loads of suggestions for improvements and changes. So I've made loads of changes to the website now. I've added pages, added loads of things, changed quite a bit, and we've oh, we I've added over 120 products in the last two weeks to the website, and it looks amazing. Genuinely and on art, I am quite proud of the website at this moment in time. So uh, the purpose of today's video is to show you the new and improved website. And if you've got any more changes, suggestions, things like that, I really would be grateful of them. Um, you know, there were mistakes pointed out to me um, last time, you know, where paragraphs have been doubled up by accident and things like that. So anything really, if you're willing to go and have a scour the, of the website, it's antiquesarena.com. I'm more than grateful for any tips or if it's something I've missed or needs to go in there, then please feel free to tell me. And if there's any mistakes, I would really appreciate the uh, you know the extra sets of eyes looking over the site. But for now, shall we take a look at the website? Now, ignore this top bar across here. That's because I'm signed in. Uh, that's just my admin bar. So uh, no one else will see that. So you've got the standard uh, welcome, and I absolutely love the you know the contrast, the colours, and the big bold writing, expert services, unique and rare inventory. So I didn't change none of that. I like that. You come down then, uh, welcome to Antiques Arena. Just gives them a little bit of um, you know confirmation. Everything is selected by me and um, inspected, and I make sure it's right. Then you got the banner for the shop, check out a new store, and it's quite an elegant looking banner for the store. Then we come down to the blogs. Now what I've done, I've done a short description describing what's going to be in the blogs, what people can expect from the blogs. And to the side of that, if you take a look, I've done myself a little nice thumbnail there saying newsletters, blogs, secrets and tips. So I'm going to share everything I can. And then you've got a sign up form for the blogs. So you can then sign up and receive newsletters and anything basically I send out. Come down. I have actually got two blogs on there now. I've got a full blog on silver. Uh, I'm not going to show you the blogs yet. We'll do that when we get to the blog page. But this is still the home page. This is just short links. I got a blog now on how to test silver using acid and obviously the blog on the ivory identification. This is just the test image that was done still for creation, but I will have that gone now as soon as I make another blog. You can obviously click then to see more and it'll take you to the blog page. Next, then we have the um, YouTube banner. So basically, if you want to follow us on social media, YouTube and that, um, we created this beautiful um, thumbnail image, YouTube banner, really nice. Then you come down to my featured products, and basically the featured products are whatever is newly listed on the site. Whatever is the last eight pieces listed on the site, they are the featured products. So, and then you can click there to view all products. Um, and then underneath that, you can click here to go to my eBay. Now, what this will do is open up a separate page. If I click on that, takes you straight to my eBay page, Antiques Arena Clearance, and you could scroll, scroll through that without losing the page you were on, which is really, really important. And then at the bottom, then you have the quick links. So that's my main home page. Really pleased with that. So then we'll come across to the About Us page. Now, this hasn't changed a great deal. Um, I love all these images he's put across the top and that. They're all elegant, really nice images. Um, this basically is my story. The only thing that's changed throughout this is literally I fixed all the errors that people picked up last time. There was a paragraph that had been doubled up. Um, but this is genuinely how I became an antique dealer, how I got into it, telling you about the family, 
introducing my family and everything. So this is personal. That is my story. Then obviously every page will have the YouTube banner at the bottom for you to subscribe to us on YouTube and Twitter. Every page has the featured products because um, as obviously I'm an antique shop, so I'm all about the selling. So every single page will have the featured products on them. Every single page has got the blogs, um, or at least telling you about the blog. You've got the blog description here and the blog sign up form. Then you've got my eBay. Again, the eBay link to go to eBay there, and obviously the quick links. If we come across the next one here, we have the shop. Now, I've li as I've said, I've got 122 products listed in the shop, and they range. These are a few I've put on today. So we've got some sterling silver coins, a carved agate, a stingray, a signed cricket bat, Nankaru porcelain plates. Um, I've got gold. Just give you a little flick through some of the shop. You can click on categories and it'll take you through. I got a nine carat watch Albert. Albert. Uh, pair of theater cufflinks, nine carat gold, a solid 22 carat gold sovereign. If I take that off there, what else should we go? We'll go ceramics. No, we'll go glass. It's less in glass. So we come down to the glass. We got all the Georgian glass that I filmed last week. You got these beautiful, you know, six petal molded rummers, 400 pound, single petal molded with engraving there. So I got some fine glass on there. Really is coming quite beautiful, to be totally honest with you. There's a lot of um, quality on there. 122 items, and all of which are. All of which are really nice quality. Why am I getting no medals up? Coins and medals. I have to look at that because I should have coins and medals on there. Coins and medals. Saying seven. So when I click on it, they're not coming up. So I'll have to check, double check coins and medals. Um, come across silver. Yeah, something, something wrong. They're not coming up. I mean, it must be because I'm signed in. So I'll have to look into that in a minute. So we'll come across then to the blogs. So this is my blog channel. So you've got nice image again across the top. You've got the description of the blogs. Again, sign up form. Then underneath that, you get the thumbnails for the blogs. So if I show you the blogs, first one here, you have a table of contents. Now you can click on any one of these on the table of contents and it takes you directly to that section of the blog. So you haven't got to scroll through the entire thing. Um, you can literally just click on something and it'll take you there. However, you scroll through and it's full description and images. Basically all the helpful films I've done over the time I have I'm turning into blogs so you can read what you need to know. And then at the bottom down here, other useful or interesting films, you know, how to test silver, uh, how much silver's in a brush, things like that. And you can, just, I've also added this down the bottom here on the posts. So you can share the post. So if you know somebody who's interested in silver or wants to know how to test silver, you can come here and you can share it to their Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter or anything like that. Um, and that shares the blog, not the site. It just takes the blog and sends it across to them. So that's handy. Obviously, very similar thing with the ivory. Um, so you could click on it. What's ivory been used for? It'll take you down straight down to that section. Now, it has been suggested I change this image. Um, at the moment, I'm going to leave it, but it has been suggested, and I am considering changing that image. I don't want to offend people. Again, underneath that, we have the YouTube banner, uh, featured products, and then down to the eBay, and then the quick links. Contact us page is the only page that is left very simple. I love the elegance of the keyboard up the top there in the dark contrast. And this is the simplest page I have, which is simply contact us. Nothing else on the page. This is all about contact us. 
but I'm telling them basically in that little description there, if they can't find what they're looking for, let me know and I will find it from. Final page is terms and conditions. As you can see, a nice elegant all uh, law books and things behind there. Um, biggest thing is thanking them for choosing Antiques Arena. I want them to know how much I appreciate their custom. Um, you know, uh, I showed, uh, I explained to them how everything is safe and secure. They can pay with credit card. They don't need a PayPal account and things, and they get the PayPal protection. My shipping and returns policy is now in you. Uh, my shipping and returns is as simple as change your mind, send it back. I don't care whatever the reason, and I'll pay the return postage within 14 days. It's that simple. It doesn't matter if it's broken, if it's misdescribed, it doesn't matter. I'm that confident with what I sell. I stand behind my products and... If you've bought it and next week you change your mind, seller's remorse, buyer's remorse, whatever you want to call it, send it back. 14-day free return. It's that simple. I stand behind my items 100%. So you've got a really nice looking uh, page there. Um, YouTube banner again, featured products again, blog, and then my eBay. And then obviously the quick links. So that's where we're at. If I go back to the shop. Now, if you wanted to buy something, uh, let's click on the Nankaru plate, for example. So you got the, you can zoom in all the images. Uh, if you was to add it to the cart and then view your cart, you won't get all this script It's because I'm signed in. I should have signed out really to make the film. Yeah, I can't do it because it's um, signed in to me. Terms and conditions. Can I do it? No. Oh, yeah, view cart. No, it's going straight to that every time. You won't actually have that. Um, I'm only getting that purely because I'm signed in and it's giving me all the uh, JavaScript and everything at the back. So that's where we're at with the uh, website now. I absolutely love the stock. I love the content. I love the image of the site, everything. We've been working on the SEO. Um, every single image now has got its own description, its own search engine, tags, everything. So I'm hopeful. I haven't had any sales yet, but I've only been adding the stock on there um, over the last week or so. And as it is a brand new website, you know, people ain't really finding it yet. Um, I've started doing the blogs now. I'm going to do a blog every week if I can, or at least one every couple of weeks. And they're going to be full educational blogs. So make sure you subscribe. If you are interested in them, make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be doing um, how to do Chinese porcelain, how to do 18th century glass, everything. It's all going to be going on them blogs. Uh, it's not all going to be how to blogs. Um, you know, I might just sit down one day and just do an update on what's going on in you know in the antiques arena life you never know it's all going to be interesting and helpful within some way or another but that's pretty much the website it's been a long expensive hard work process but do you know what i am so proud of it i really am uh, as i've said i would really appreciate it if you want to check over the site give it a read through see what you think um, any mistakes, things like that, I'd really be grateful of, um, yeah, the opinions. And if you think it's something else I've missed, like I didn't have the terms, conditions page and things like that. So if you think I've missed something else that needs to be added, really, I would really appreciate your comment. And that, guys, thanks for watching.